Hey, I'm Eric from Curbside Cycle, and we're here today to talk about the Nihola family. So to understand Nihola's history is to understand the history of the cargo bike in Denmark. Now Denmark's not like Holland, or at least it wasn't back in the 70s and 80s. In fact, it was a very sprawled out city, very similar to North American cities today. And that's what makes this bike so interesting for the North American market. So in places like Holland, where there's been bicycle infrastructure for almost over 100 years, it's always made sense to use two-wheeled bikes because two-wheeled bikes stay in bicycle infrastructure. They don't compete in the same space as cars on the road. So the solution always had to be a three-wheeled bike. But three-wheeled cargo bikes up to that point were very, very bulky and very cumbersome and very, very heavy. The big thing about them is that to steer these bikes, you actually had to steer the whole box. So imagine having a heavy bike, an even heavier box, and then two kids, maybe four kids, groceries and a dog, and you now have to basically tilt this bike left and right to steer it. So Nihola was started when a local newspaper published an editorial challenging engineers in Denmark to design a cargo bike that could fit two kids or four kids and a case of beer. That's true, by the way. Niels Holmes Larsen, which is Nihola, I know, started Nihola as an answer to this challenge. So the Nihola bike, first and foremost, was designed to be light because a lighter cargo bike can do more distance, it can go up hills, and it's just generally easier to handle. By taking away the marine grade wood, which you see on most three-wheeled cargo bikes, and replacing it with Lexan plastic, the Hola bikes have the same, if not higher, impact resistance as other cargo bikes in the market, but is 40% lighter. But the greatest thing about the Nihola cargo bike, the steering. As you can see, just the wheels move, not the whole box. The advantage of a Nihola is that you get the handling of a two-wheeled bike with the stability of a three-wheeled trike. And for people riding in North American cities, that is very, very compelling. Bam! So just like a Dutch cargo bike, the Nihola bike is also gloriously upright. You sit in a bolt upright position, you can see what's coming up ahead of you, and people can see you from behind. And not only is that position safer, it's also a lot more comfortable. So people in Denmark who own a cargo bike probably live in an apartment or a small house. That means chances are really, really good that they don't have a place to store their bike inside overnight. And that means that the Nihola cargo bike has to be made for outdoor storability. This is fundamental. So we begin with the frame. The frame on a Nihola bike is made of steel. Now steel is really strong. It's about 30% stronger than aluminum. But the problem with steel is that it can rust. And that's why Nihola approaches the finishes on the bike with the same structural integrity as the frame itself. So if we're talking about finishes on the bike as structural, what does that mean? Well, it means that the bike has to be both chip resistant and rust resistant. So the outer coat on the Nihola bike is what they call a powder coat. And a powder coat is where the paint has got one electrical charge and the frame the other, and it creates this really, really adhesive bond. Below the powder coat is a rust resistant undercoat. So that if the bike chips, and of course one day it will, you still have a protective barrier underneath. We've been selling the Hola for over 10 years. Most of our customers store their bikes outside year round, and it's amazing to see the quality of finish on these bikes. Very few chips, almost no rust. So now let's talk about the box. So most cargo bikes sold in Holland at least use a wood box. A wood box is very impact resistant, but it's really, really heavy. Now, if you remember, Nihola was trying to make a lightweight bike, but we had to keep the impact resistance really, really, really high. So that became a question of materials. One thing that Danes have in common with Canadians is that we both love hockey. And if you can imagine a hockey rink, you have these Lexan plastic boards, which can sustain massive body checks. So the box on the Hola cargo bike is also made of Lexan plastic. That means that it's both very light and highly impact resistant. Of course, the other great thing about Lexan plastic is that unlike wood, it's not a natural material and you don't have to worry about weather resistance. So if you're storing your bike outside your round, it's one thing to have the frame weatherproof. It's also another thing to have the parts weatherproof. 
So the Nihola cargo bike uses an internal gear hub, and that's just right back here. Now an internal gear hub is amazing because it gives you a really wide range of gears, but it's completely sealed within the hub. That means that it's both low maintenance and completely weatherproof. This story continues with the brakes as well. So on a Nihola bike, the front brakes are drum brakes, just like on a car. So what a drum brake offers is superior braking performance, but again, it's inside the hub and that means it's sealed from the weather. And even the chain on a Nihola is galvanized steel, so it can't rust. Now Nihola takes riding in a city seriously, and you can see that with the tires they put on this bike. Each tire on this bike retails for about $90. That's because they have 3.5 millimeters of puncture protection inside of them. That means things like glass or staples are no longer a worry as you're riding through the city, doing your errands, or just having weekend adventures. So perhaps one of the hardest things about buying a Nihola is choosing the color of rain tent. There's over 10 different colors. The Nihola rain tent is completely waterproof, has a nice field of vision for the kids, and in winter, really seals in heat. So in the summertime, having a rain tent might not make sense, but you can keep it on the bike and keep the kids cool just by rolling it up. Let me show you how that works. Now let's talk about what comes inside the box. So if you're carrying an infant in the Nihola family, there's two ways you can do this. One, there's an X strap at the base of the bike, and here you can mount a car seat. And the other option is the Nihola baby seat, which looks like this. And this keeps a little bit more space in the box, so you can have two kids side by side. So the baby seat's a really great option. It's made out of EPP foam, the same stuff that a helmet is made out of, so it's very impact resistant. It also sits at an angle that's quite reclined so that there's no compression on the baby's neck. So the Y belt's really great for younger kids. And if you have two younger kids, we can put two Y belts right beside each other. Conversely, if you've got one younger child and an older child, the younger child will use the Y belt and the older child the seat belt. Now, if you need all of this cargo space and you're not carrying kids, this bench is really easy to remove. It pops out in just under two minutes. So the Nihola family is a city bike by definition. And a city bike means that you should be able to wear whatever you're wearing and go wherever you're going. No spandex required. So if you've been to Denmark or Holland, you'll see people going to work, going to important meetings, dropping off kids at the daycare, going on dates, going for weekend adventures. And the reason why they can wear what they're wearing, whether it's a ball gown to a designer pair of jeans, is that there's this chain case on the bike. And this chain case keeps the oil from the chain off of your clothes. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any other questions on the Nihola family, be sure to check out the links below. If you have more questions about the Nihola family and want to talk to an expert, you can book a sales appointment online. Our sales appointments are by video chat, phone call, or you can visit us in store.